We've been hitting the streets for quite some time now and are proud owner of a corvette that barely holds together. It is time to set up camp somewhere and get the repairs done. Your game map should look similar to mine by now. There is still a fair chunk of uncharted territory, but we have a good selection of sectors to work with. Open your Ministry of War and take a closer look at the sector list. Upon starting a new game, Mayhem selects a bunch of sectors and removes the original owner. So besides your typical unknown sectors, there is a random assortment of additional ones available. The benefits a sector has for us can be measured by three factors. Statistics, strategic location and resources. I am selecting my first one by looking at sectors that gather my interest with high stats and then take a look at their location on the map and the neighborhood and also which resources are available there. This includes minerals and the intensity of the sunlight which determines effectiveness of solar power plants. Every sector has four statistics. A limit on how big the population can be the research speed, the chance for bonus progress on research projects, and support. Mayhem assigns those statistics randomly inside a certain range for every new game. Maximum population determines the amount of people that can live in a sector. Each inhabitant adds his workforce to speed up construction for ships, stations, lasers, missiles and shields. All those things don't get produced in factories anymore, but in a big space station, which is the central hub of the sector. And the more people you have, the faster this installation can produce. People also consume food over time. I want to develop my first sector into a shipyard, so this is probably the most important step for me. It means being able to crank out ships faster. Research is used to unlock new ship blueprints for construction and it can also improve your boarding teams. You can only build one research station per sector and this statistics makes them more effective. When a breakthrough happens you get bonus progress on the current technology that you are researching. So the breakthrough chance is basically just a buff to your research speed. Overall, I think that both research stats don't matter too much. You will eventually get the projects done that are important to you. I am fine building smaller ships, which get researched fast, and I'm also investing into boarding parties in this playthrough. This means I have other ways to get bigger ships, and in my case, research isn't that important. But if you don't plan to do boarding, high research will get you capital ships faster. Support sets a limit on how much factories can be placed in a given sector. Most don't support more than 8, but there are some rare occasions scattered around that can go up to 15. Being able to build more stations is very helpful in the early game. It means that we can produce more stuff for ourselves without having to expand. Expanding into other sectors increases your empire threat level and this makes everything around you stronger. Having a high factory limit is not crucial, but it is still very helpful and these sectors are often better overall. So I am going through this list and search for these quality sectors. They have a double digit station support limit. We can use this as an indicator. If the second column doesn't show any owner and is grey, we could claim that sector. Of course, most of them are occupied already, so don't get your hopes too high up. But look here! Lost Order. It supports up to 15 factories, has good research and production stats. Let's take a look. It is located on the eastern part of the map. Sun strength is very good, but we have pirates in the north and Xenon to the east. This location is too dangerous to start out with. 
Tiger Theta looks like a very solid choice. Factory support is at maximum and population is also high. It is located in the Omicron channel, a dead-end series of sectors in the northeast corner of the map, very remote and also very far away from any Xenon or pirate activity. In its exploration phase, the faction divided it up among themselves and the channel became some kind of melting pot for many different species. But the upcoming war will probably lead to some races being driven out. Time will tell. NPC shipyards can easily be identified through the sector's security level. Core sectors always have a shipyard. The Borons have one directly adjacent to the west. This is going to get handy when we try to sell our loot and captured ships. The Teladi are also present with a shipyard in Gannet Kappa. It is worth mentioning that the Argon Federation has an isolated outpost even deeper in the channel. And this is prime real estate too. If they would somehow lose this sector, they wouldn't be able to retaliate because they need a border to start counter-invasions. So we will keep that in mind. Entering system, Tiger, Beta, Advanced Satellite, Ejected. I'm scanning all the asteroids and I'm also going to buy some food so that the population can grow. We need the people to be able to begin station construction. The cheapest food you can get are scruffin fruits. They are sold by the split. But I don't have any satellites in the appropriate sectors with factories. And therefore I'm buying meat steak kahunas, which are also fine. Southwest. But it's not that important that you provide for a food right now. You can also do that later. I'm just doing it so that I can already grow a small population right away. Now we can finally put a claim on this sector. To do that we are opening up the personal console and under claim slash manage you can decide what to do with this sector. Later on when you have more reputation with the races you can also expand their territory. But we want the sector for ourselves and therefore we are going to claim for the zonen and this will spawn a new space station right Sanctuary. away and inform the world about our new endeavor. You will also get a message that your threat has increased by one. I already mentioned it, the threat level determines many factors in mayhem, mainly the strength of the opposition. So it's basically in determination of how far your game has progressed. You will get one threat for each sector that you claim and also every 24 hours, every in-game day. This is the sanctuary. It's the central hub of the sector. It's a highly modular space station that you can customize to your liking and it can fill many roles. We can also build space stations in there and lay the groundwork for our future empire. 